Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bullet Train Dash here. We are going to continue our Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV. That sounded really stock. I had a hard time getting those thoughts through my head. But, so it turns out, these are different things. I figured that out just after finishing the episode. I was like, what, what, what is this Taking the Black? Because we're into the Maw's Beast. Where's Taking the Black? Taking the Black's back at the fucking... Here. Which I'm betting, it just sounds like a... Uh, a, uh, it's either going to be the Black Mage quest or I'm going to Google search the Black Mage quest. But taking the Black... And I mentioned that last episode. I was like, oh, taking the Black. That's funny. That's not the quest we're on. That's another quest that we had available. So I was unclear on that. That's my fault. Let us... Make this happen. I know, I know Aqua is still... On his... Um, Building his stuff up. So, oh, I keep doing that shit. Aethernet. Thaumaturge's Guild. Let's become the blackest of mages, shall we? Join me on a quest. Yak yaki. Yep. Soul the Black Mage. Convert. Sacrifices 20% of maximum hit point to restore 30% of MP. Cannot be executed when current hit point is lower than 20%. That makes sense. Yayake has need of a talented thaumaturge. Dash, I've been waiting for you. In a way. Please, let me explain. Do you know of Marasaha Pit? It is a prison here in Uldal. In prison, a man is will a man will do in prison a man will do almost anything to keep his mind occupied. Of late, one inmate claims to hear the voices of of Na uh, Thal. No doubt he's lost his mind after serving 100 years of a life sentence. But he knew you by name, Dash, and maintains the traitors. The traitors demand you win the gem of Shatato in exchange for his release. A farce, no doubt. I make it for nothing more than the maniacal ravings of a sell crazed sweaty tooth madman but i fear the only way to be sure is to free him of the pit the prisoner's name is kukuraka tataruka and as if his story were not proof enough of his lunacy he also styles himself a black mage but such magic was lost to eorzea centuries ago who does this senile charlatan think he will fool with such rubbish ah, nevertheless he has invoked the name of Naldal and so the Orderer feels it is unwise to ignore his words. Though I am still no believer, you have come as he said you would. So let us get to the bottom of this, shall we? It may be that you are an agent of fate, or perhaps are merely a crooked old man's accomplice. In either case, I ask that you travel to Highbridge in eastern Thanalan. Seek out the planar fissure, a rift between this world and the next. Fell whatever beast might lurk there, and water the earth with their blood. According to our gowled murmur, Doing so will rise uh, to the gem of Shitato. The gem is no more than a pretty stone oft mentioned in bedtime stories and the tales of fairies. We shall see if it truly exists. I shall await your return. Alrighty. Uh, I'm totally confused. Where's my... There it is. Taking the black. Map. Where's this at? Camp Drybone. Let's go. Let's go see what happens. If this ends up being a really short thing, then we will do a cut on this episode until such time that Aqua is ready to join us. Uh, up there. With a chocobo. I'm never going to get tired of being able to ride the chocobo. I'm just going to throw that out there. Every time the chocobo appears, we could be 300 hours into this let's play. And I'm going to be excited about the chocobo. Alright. Cat ear headphones getting in the way of scratching my head. God damn it. There we go. Alright, so it looks like we go over here. Oh, hello. 
Just this is planar fissure just sitting here. Look what's in there? I sense the hostile present. Oh shit, okay. That was the wrong button. Put you to sleep. I can, and I'm fucked up. Oh, the thunder wore out before he died. All right, let's make this happen. Stop doing that AOE. Okay, pour the void sent blood on the planter bit. Okay, that that hurt. That hurt a lot. All right, what do we get? Thaumaturge, hear me. What? Oh, hello. Put up your weapon, friend. Kazag Chan need you no harm. Okay. So you are the one of whom Kukuruka's prophecy speaks. By your hand was the blood of these creatures spilt upon the earth in vain, was it not? Then you have earned this gem of Shatato. Take it. You will know what to do with, with it when the time comes. With this, my part is done. Farewell for now. I love that music. Speak with Yakake at the board, the, the, the guild. That's, that's, oh my god, every bit of this is wrong. There we go. And off we go. Should have went all the way to level 60 without getting Black Mage. Just to see if I could. <laughs> and off we go. 444. LT, whatever that means. Alrighty, let's go speak with the Ayake. Well, you certainly smell as though you've been... What the fuck? Oh my god, my phone's going nuts. 
Well, you certainly smell as though you've been off spilling blood, but it will take more than the waft of foulness to convince me you are an agent of divine will. I take it yours was an eventful journey? <clears throat> it is exactly as described in the tales. Could it truly be the gem of Shatato? Wells be good. I can feel the magic pulsing within it. The tales tell that only souls blessed by the grace of Nald Thal are entrusted with the keeping of the gem. It is beyond mere coincidence. I must investigate further. And you must assist me, Dash. This now involves you much as much as any other. Still, I cannot shake my inner skeptic. If Kukuruka somehow made contact with the outside world, he may be manipulating adventurers such as yourself for ends yet unknown to us. I will call an emergency council of the order. Please, wait here. Give my damn gem back. Oh. What the fuck? That will not be necessary. I don't know who that is, but it's adorable. Kukuruka, what are you doing here? How have you escaped the pit? No lie. Watch your tongue, fool. Watch, the, watch your tongue, you insolent, insolent fool. Master has passed a century in meditation, communing with Nod Thal. You will address him with the proper respect. The gold. I think it's the jailers. The jailers of the Marsaja pit are very different from the heretics of your order. Suffice to say, they had wisdom enough to listen. Must I remind you again? The will I speak is that of Nald Thal himself. The true criminal is he who ignores the words of a god. Beware, Kukuruka. The twelve set them spare those who claim their voice. This murmur's farce will bring a disaster to us all. The cause of the disaster to come will be no words of mine. Be sure of that. Nathal spoke to me. By his own declaration, the seal on the void gate will be broken. Once thrown open, it can be closed once more by none but she who bears the gem of Shatato. I speak of you, Dash Galaxy. The gem you hold is the mark of a mage of the black. With it in hand, you must now set forth and gather the keys needed to seal the void gate. What? You can't, I mean, you don't have the right to, I just can't let this happen. Silence, you hollow-plated prig. Those who do not listen shall not be heard. You take for yourself the title of Thaumaturge, and so I will not suffer you to claim ignorance. You know as well as any of the existence of the netherworld rife with shadows of monstrosity, the Void. As the power of the Void waxes, the barrier between it and our own world wanes. Eventually, that barrier will falter, and the Void Gate will open. Once it has, only the black magic of Eld can reseal it. This is sacrilege. As one who now commands the forces of destruction, I bid you forth, black mage. The gem of Shatato is our sigil, the mark of the magi devoted to the true dark art. In it, you already possess the first key required to see the void gate sealed. You have taken the black, Time is needed before the black takes you, before it permeates your mind and body, and colors every fiber of your being dark as pitch. Visit Milvaneth Sacrarium, and hear the words of Lalai. No! Oh, she's pissed. 
Do not fear the power to destroy. Master it, and with it destroy that which would destroy you. Report to Lila at this place. Where is this at? The Weaver's Guild. Okay. Jump. Jump. I'm not even going to say body yeah, to that girl. I'm just going to be like, yeah, uh, peace. Go this way. Lalai. Master is meditating in his chambers. For Nald Thal always speaks, and Master must listen. He has entrusted me with guiding you on your path, but you must walk alone yet. Come again when the black has grown stronger within you. Next black mage quest will be available from Lalai upon reaching level 35. Mr. Hanky, Black Mage has been unlocked. The gem of Shatato imbues you with dark knowledge. Number of available gear sets increased. Cool. All right, let's go to Armory Chest. We have a gem. And I am no longer a Thaumaturge. If I go to character, it's going to be level 32 Black Mage. Averaging level 16 on gear. I need better gear. Uh, let's... Let's go see what's available for sale. In the market. Uh, Sapphire Avenue Exchange, I think, is is where I can go market some stuff. Let's go see for sale on the market board. I don't have all my gold on me. I've got like 50,000 gills sitting on my retainer. Yep, market board. Perfect. I already know how to search for items in the market. I've seen the first time I've been here. All right. We are going to look for body gear for level 32. Dude, all right. Uh, I hate the fact that it shows stuff that they don't have. So there's four of this, which is Craftsman. Velveteen Robe, level 31. It looks like I lose defense and magic defense, but the trade-off there is I can put... Ooh, Doctor's Robe. How much is that? I was level 20. Damn it. Yeah, these, they drop rapid. So, Velveteen Gown. Velveteen Cow. So, this is level 31. Velveteen Robe. How much are they? 7,000. Oh, shit. What's... Let's back up. What's my... Because I've, I've got some low-end gear on. So I'm... I've got level 27 gear. Uh, so... My gloves are level 15. Let's see if we can find better gloves. Velveteen dress gloves. Give me some good intelligence. Or goat skin ring bands. All right. Well, how much are velveteen dress gloves? Three thousand. Oh uh, yeah, bile. Done. 
All right, let's go into our armory chest. Let's equip them. Perfect. Uh, nope, ain't done yet. Character. So now we have level 27, level 31. Our belt is a rope belt, level 16. 50, so belt, pants, and feet are all super low level. Can I, can I search for more than one thing? Nope. All right. Velveteen Sash. For 11,000, you're outside your mind. A Velveteen Rope Belt. Still kind of expensive. Silk Belt. It's only 3,000. Ah, uh, let's find pants. So these are just flat out better and on the cheap. Let's do it. And let's gr let's grab some feet. Dress shoes? For nope. No, oh, wait, hold on. Still a better level item. Nope. It's an improvement. 1200 or 1400 for high quality. Alright. Let's go equip everything we just bought. We'll go to our character. We've still got a leather, level one pair of rings. Wow. And a weather, leather one. So my wrist and rings are awful, as is my choker. Wow. Okay, so all my jewelry is shit. Now we're just spell speed. Damn. Yeah, I'll I'll just have to do some some hunting around for jewelry. But we got a little bit stronger, better gear. Um I'm actually gonna stop right here. We'll, uh, I'm going to do a cut in the episode and we'll continue once we get Aqua on board and we can go do Toto Rack. So stay tuned for just a moment. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bullet Train. Actually, it's not even welcome back because this is a continuation of the episode. <laughs> I just got the Black Mage. Uh, this time we got Aqua with us. Say hi. Hello. Yes, yes. I could, I could just cut and restart this part, but fuck it. <laughs> we'll keep it in. Uh, we're, uh, we're ready to do some Toto Rack. But first, I need to get invited to a party, if you'd be so kind, sir. Did, did you send me mail? I did. Okay, I'm going to go pick it up. So it turns out, I went through and looked at my party, or my, my party, my equipment, uh, through part of the last episode. And all of my rings and my amulets, everything on the right-hand side of the character sheet is level 1. Yeah, you don't start getting accessories until, like, level 30. Yeah, it's just, like, I was looking at my average. Please pass on to... Okay. Uh, I was just looking at my average character level, like, gear level. It was, like, it's all level 12. Because I still had some really old level shit in other slots. So I got some... A slight, oh, hello. I got some higher level stuff. Oh, my God. Quit running around. Oh, open trade. Oh, you look like a Girl Scout. That's why I need those glamour items. Oh yeah, you're a you're a healer now. Open trade. Oops, shit. Or, open or, trade. or or galvanizes. Sweet. All right. 
What what was it you just gave me? Because it all went to my armory chest on accident. Oh, it's a the Emperor's new necklace, ring, bracer, and. Oh okay. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, the four accessories: necklace. I'm assuming there's earrings. Earrings. Yeah. Ring. And bracer. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, just use the mouse. There we go. Thank you. Oh, shit, I clicked off screen like an idiot. Okay. Let me go put these on. <laughs> you do that. Ah. Uh, Glamour plates are so fine. I'm gonna yawn like a motherfucker. Oh my god, this dude is dressed like a ghost. <laughs> I want this outfit. I have two of those on my other character for some reason. I don't know why they're different. Yeah, I, I do hear. Uh, is that Oreo or Luna? Oreo. I do hear Oreo's tail occasionally plop down. Wow, there's a Lollafell here wearing practically nothing, and it's kind of disturbing. Oreo's just mad because I took a box away because she was eating it. <gasps> Wait, you took a what away? I took a box away. How dare you! I had an old cardboard box left up on the desk, and she would occasionally lay in it. <laughs> Most of the time, she only lay in it right, right before bedtime, and then re refused to get out of it. But then, yesterday, she was just like, I'm going to eat on it. I'm like, stop eating on it. And pop her, and then she would go right back to chewing on it. And I was like, stop eating the fucking box. Cool. Alright, I'm good to go. Alright, cue it. I said to make sure I look good. Go cue us up. It's still less than five minutes. That's cool. Think so it'll be easier to find a tank than it will be a healer? No. Okay. I'm... You just wanted to be a healer instead of a tank? Yep. Fair. I mentioned in uh, earlier in what will be this episode. Uh, before this, that I might do a... Uh, since you got a healer in a tank, I may multi-class into a tank. And make that like a side episode or a, a live stream of just picking... Is it Marauder that turns you eventually into a tank? Marauder does warrior. And Marauder and Gladiator do warriors. Or tank. Gotcha. Gladiator becomes Paladin? Paladin, yes. Makes sense. If you get to uh, if you get to Heavensward content, you can become a Dark Knight. Ooh, maybe that's what I'll play do. Some, play some emo shit. Use use your great sword. Great sword use to cut yourself. Use the power of darkness. <laughs> Gives a whole new uh, whole new meaning to the emote slash wrist. Yep. Uh huh. I want to get. I want to. I want to get myself trapped behind here. I heard you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like right here. Okay. I'm hearing. I hear the prelude. And it sounds weird. This Just theory's almost as big as I am. It's great. What? Let me see. I had to redo my damn uh, bar when I became a uh, black mage because it redid all my shit. Uh, well, if you had like, if you, if you do this again, uh, sending you a thing. Hopefully, this will come through. You can email it to me if you need to. For example, like you could you could do that a number of times, and it would copy your thaumaturge bars over your black mage bars. Oh. Okay, I'll have to remember that. Yeah, I mean, I mean I've already remember. manually copied most of it over, and I actually did a couple optimizations I've been intending to do. Like I now have uh, Thunder Two on my 
bar mana ward is up, convert is up, but that's new. Uh, don't have drain on here, which I probably should. But drain just gains my hit points from the damage, and I figure hey, it might be useful. I don't know. I got a float DI. Yeah, I uh, did my roulette earlier. Got 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 the guy as big as you. Real quick, I'm. Oh, never mind. I was like, I'm gonna go check my hunting log. Oh, never mind. Remember it, but I remember it being a bitch. Not even that it was so bad, it's mainly the fact that we, um, when we first started this with the dungeon, we kept running because we had those uh, free company. Oh, uh, yeah. The dungeon knights. Yep. And it's just like, oh, what level is everyone? Well, the most common level is fucking Total Wreck. I uh, forgot where I put a couple of my buttons. <laughs> Leveled up. Oh shit, that thing's still alive. <laughs> I totally didn't see it. Last time I ran this, we missed one of those magic cells. We had to like go wander around the dungeon for a while. Oh shit. Uh, I'll be honest, I was worried this guy started pulling a big group. Like, I'm just going to wait until he stops and then start blowing everything up. Got all the things. I'm going to trust him to know what he can take. You got, you got my, uh, my faith. Quick work of this. Blow it all up. Killing these right here, then? Sounds good. Alright. Anything I need to remember here? No. This... this Super straightforward. Straightforward? All right, cool. Now try not to pull 
aggro like Raven was doing. I'm trying not to. Scholar in these lower dungeons is really good. I'm basically just a, a third DPS. <laughs> Fair. Very good motion, isn't it? There was a story mission I did for for my black mage and it made me really miss being a bard. Oh. Oh. I was expecting more of it, more of the story. No, 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 I just it made me no. miss being a bard. It was like three or four bards on our side, or archers, and they're just watching them do their effects. I was like, man, I miss doing all that. I press the right button. There we go. I think the big thing I like about being the bar was that your your attack was instant and then a cooldown, not a charge up and then damage. So I always feel like I'm not doing anything for a while. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, it gives him time to build up aggro, but at the same time it's like, come on. The thing's almost dead, I wanna kill it. Magitech photo cell. I just used an ether on accident. Oh shit. I forgot about that part. Dude, the dude came to a stop, so I stopped too, and then he got sucked there. I'm like, oh shit, we gotta jump through that. Okay, we're going this way. See how little of this I actually remember. <laughs> I was like, let's do it. Okay. It's like they, they short you one photo shelf. Photo shelf is, is fighting. Yeah, one of those, one of those fight generator ones. Last time I did this, I missed. What was that? It was one of those fight generated photo cells that we missed last time I did this. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, crap. Where was it? it just dropped somewhere random. And just again, tank its bank. Yeah. All right. Like 
Ads will spawn? Alright. I got me new boots. Oh crap, y'all fucking ran all ahead. I was still trying to take care of something. What's that? I'm just following you guys. Sweet! Oh, more stuff. And these guys are just plowing through. Which I'm alright with. <laughs> you hear everybody hitting, getting that laden hit over and over again. I don't know why, but this exact tunnel feels familiar. This downhill curve. Like, I remember running that a lot. I don't mm -hmm. remember why. I, I don't know why that stands out, but it does. I remember they added bubbling, like the... Like that dungeon, that this is like the dungeon you got every time too. That is highly likely. It's not a dungeon, it's like a kill rat. God damn it. It's not a bad dungeon, but I'm tired of doing it. An opening forms in the web again. All right, anything special about this? Oh, hold on.
Lahabrea of the Asians, servant to the one true God. Yours is a most fantastical tale, truly absorbing. It is a tale to tell Eorzea's children before bedtime, and it will soon be dark, bringer of light. The Dark Minions. stands between this world and darkness is an irksome anomaly in the ether. The Echo. Yes, yours is a most fascinating tale. Alas, like all good tales, it must needs come to an end. But fear not. of evil for the end of your tale is but the beginning of another the tale of the crystal's demise <laughs> Oh, hot shit, that thing's big. Uh, I think I remember we have to target his tail at one point, right? Yeah. Some, some people, some people do that sometimes. I feel like it makes the fight easier. No, I'm just going to target him down unless you tell me otherwise. Because we're wrecking him as it stands. Oh my god, I can't I can't target the fucking tail. Also I've been playing a lot of monster hunters, so I like I feel like I have to kill tail. Get the rest of the There we go. What else? Loved up again. Learn fire three. The bow of owls. All right. The bow of Overwatch League. <laughs> well, I am going to greet on that. Player commendations. You know what? I think Bryce Nocturnal did well enough. I will give him commendation. Yay, we did it. All right, let's get out of here. Your level is no longer synced. What level were we synced to? I'm like 26. Probably 20. Yeah, I was about to say exactly 26. I bet probably like 26. Oh, cinematic. Oh, is this the Elder? <gasps> Fresh!
fresh air. Maps not so fresh. <laughs> True, but better than before. Sinister one is gone. This one can leave this awful place. Be a pain in the ass. Hmm, did walking one vanquish the mini legged one? This one is grateful to walking one. God, their lines are hard to read. We're called Frixio, eldest of the little souls. Alpha Squad reporting, sir. Nothing to note at Lark Skull? Alright. Understood. Return to Area 12. Damn it all. Where's that accursed Akon hiding? No, oh, Nero. No sign of our wise and friend? I'm afraid not, my lord. Shall I order the search perimeter be expanded? Absolutely not. We risk alerting the Gridanians of our presence. His Excellency bid us to avoid unnecessary confrontation. Loath though I am to admit it, I have found no evidence to suggest that Rama will be gracing the mortal realm in the near future. I ask you, what good is a god who does not grant one's wishes? For myself, I would strongly consider finding myself another idol. <laughs> Which reminds me, what are the sylphs we captured? A handful of them seem to be reasonably good health last I looked. Uh, apologies, my lord. I fear we may have been overzealous in our effort to compel them to summon the Akon. Ah, oh, really, Centurion? Were you not aware that vegetable brews easily? <laughs> it is well that I did not trust you with the important task of making my dinner. Well, mayhaps it was a kindness. Better dead in truth than dead to one's own god, I suppose. Dawn is upon us. Make ready to withdraw. And off everyone runs. Gee, useless. We're so close to completion. I can taste it. Uh, no, I must be patient. Our efforts will bear fruit in due time. What was that you always said? Ah, yes. The thought of bringing down the very heavens. Who shall challenge the limits of possibility if not we? School on. Your star has fa long fallen. While mine doth begin to rise, and so it shall burn bright. <gasps> Those walking ones did for Noxia. This one is certain of it. This one fears that others taken also suffer the same fate. This one is convinced. Walking ones have black hearts, seek only to harm those. Uh, these ones. Now, now, Naraxia. Do not pass judgment too easily. Not all walking ones are alike. Though there are evil ones among the walking ones, there are good ones too. Hers are easy to read. Hmm. Does walking one feel unwell? This one would know what brings walking one to this place. I'm trying to find you, damn it. Came to this one's rescue at Noraxia's bidding? Then this one owes walking one a debt of gratitude. Walking one has questions about Lord Rama? This one will provide answers. But first, let these ones quit this lightless place. This one will return to the uh, Little Salas. Come talk to me when you're ready. Then it is settled. Let this one accompany walking one outside. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out. Yeah, we're out of here. I gotta go equip my new pants. Or my new shoes. Oh, or, or, or I could completely fuck that whole process up. You got new pants? New shoes. Ooh. I think. Yeah. Which sucks. I literally just bought new shoes because I was just tired of them being super low level, and then those fell, and they were better than what I had. I was like, All right, whatever. 
Felt like I spent a lot for the ones I had. Oh, let's... Hey, that's the wrong button. That's not my mount anymore. What, the, is purely what, did, what did I just cast? Convert. Oh, okay. What the hell? There is a weird icon in here I don't recognize. Oh, I think it's just several icons stacked on each other making it look weird. Alright. You're back! Tell me the Sylph Elder as well. Thank the gods for that. I don't really know what to make the rest of the tale, but I'm full glad she didn't come to any harm. There I go, tempting fate. Run over to Little Solstice and secure peace with us. You done Gridani a great service this day, and earn yourself a place of honor here at the Druthers. In so doing, be sure to come by whenever you feel like it. Yep. Something like you deliver to the Sylphs. It's a gift to celebrate the sacred return of the tribe elder. The wood is not what it once was. The calamity changed the elementals, weakened them, but until their strength is returned, we must lend ours to keep the wood safe. Only by working together and fighting together will we survive together. Okay. Now we gotta go to Little Solace. I don't remember where Little Solace is. That's right. It is not. Oh, that works. You're welcome. I was trying to see if I could remember how to get there, but. Did. No, you didn't. You just used the uh, the mission objective. Nope. Don't. I, know. Nope. I just unlocked all this crap. So I oh, I still that's right. Yeah, you were just unlocking all this. <laughs> See, I unlocked it minutes ago. Plenty of time for me to forget. Oh, I need to check something real quick. So fire three is single target. All right. Yeah, you're, but it, but it doesn't give you um, a fire orb essentially. What? So your your uh, actually no fire three is different. Fire three. I was say it says Grant's astral fire full, three. Gives you full fire fire things. Yeah. Right. So that's what you use to switch back to fire stance. So switch. So you switch to ice. When your mana's full, you cast fire three. That puts you immediately back at full, full fire. Gotcha. And then you go back. To, then you go back to fire one. Makes sense. Uh, I get from walking one Biscara to get for these ones. Yep. Here you go. I get. I get confused because fire four is the thing. It's such a lovely scent. This one has never smelled anything like it before. Walking one Biscara and adventuring one are very kind. Yep. Many walking ones are scary. Let us be friends forever. Oh, hey, wait. <laughs> I was like, shit, you're out the next mission giver. I want you to discuss peace. This one is expecting walking one. I will fetch the elder. And by fetch the elder, you'll look off to the side and she'll just show up. This one is pleased to see walking one again. Welcome to the home of these ones. Hey, you two finally showed back up. Ah, there you are, Dash. We've just been hearing tell of your deeds of daring do. Well done. Oh, the walking ones who aided Noraxia. This one is grateful. A pleasure to have been of service. If you do not mind me asking, how did your misadventure come about? This one does not mind. The misadventures, as walking ones call them, of this one began when Imperial ones entered the wood. Fearing trouble, these ones decided to watch Imperial ones closely. But these ones watched too closely and Imperial ones noticed and tried to catch these ones. Having nowhere else to hide, this one fled to Totorak. Would that one not have had to? In Totorak, sinister one robed in black tried to feed this one to a mini-legged one. A sinner's one robed in black. Why do I have a feeling that I should be more worried about that than I am? I'm like, because you should be. Elder Frixio. 
We come to you as emissaries of the nation of Gridania. This missive bears the words of the Elder Seatseer. This one sees. So we walking ones of Gridania are fearful of Lord Rama. Finally put, yes, your people summoned the Lord of Leaven but once, yet that single occurrence occur occasioned great alarm. But it's not as if Gridanians dislike you or anything. Actually, it's just the opposite. They think of you as friends, and they don't want anything to get in the way of that. This is why the Elder Seats here wrote you. Basically, we're cool as long as you don't summon that god. Hmm. This one well knows and respects Horned One Kani Isina. Be assured, we walking ones like Gridania, like walking ones of Gridania, these ones have no desire for conflict. These ones resorted to the summoning Lord Rama to protect the wood from Imperial ones. This one counseled against doing so, but it was not heeded. Against this one's wishes, Lord Rama was summoned, and all those ones who took part became touched ones. These ones are not desperate, so desperately to turn touched ones back to normal ones. But we did not know how. Still did not know. God, he looks vicious with that beard. Touch ones, meanwhile, wanted to turn these ones into touched ones and did know how. So this one fled to Little Solace with all the ones who do not wish to be bound to Lord Rama. But walking ones of Gridania need not fear touch ones or Lord Rama. Unlike other promos, Lord Rama is not casual, cas callous, or cruel. So long as walking ones do not trespass on these ones' ancestral homeland where touch ones reside, walking ones will not su suffer thunderous judgment. This one has spoken enough of touched ones. This one would speak instead of these ones. As this one said, these ones desire peace with walking ones of Gridania. And so these ones ask for a chance to set things right. By way of addendum, mortals who are tempered come to take on the qualities embodied of the primal in question. In the case of the Sylphs, Rama's influence have made them fiercely protective of their homeland. That explains why they're so hostile towards trespassers. What of the abductions? A fine question, Ida. The abductions are, I believe, an expression of the tempered sylph's desire for reconciliation, another quality traditionally associated with drama. In the crudest manner imaginable, they seek to bring their fellows back into the fold, a timely reminder that the challenges posed by each primal are unique. Elder Frixio, we thank you for making your will known to us. These people of Gridania will rest easier in the knowledge that they are the sylphs. They and the sylphs are united in their desire for peace. Oh. Wishing to cooperate, this one has written down the feelings of these ones. Please see that these are conveyed to Connie Sia. And with that, I believe the matter of Rama can be laid to rest. Sylph's elder is very reasonable, I must say. You could learn a lot from him. Hmm? Was that a jibe? If so, I feel it only fair to observe that one of us wouldn't recognize reason if it punched her in the nose. Did I say fair? I meant reasonable. Now they're arguing. Let's just walk away. Or not. Anyway, we're going back to the Waking Sands and telling Min Milfinia, Minfilia, pick her name, fuck it, who cares, all about it. Fair not, we will be sure to mention the instrumental part you played in all of this. Cool. We humbly thank you for your time. It's been an honor. Get the hell out of here. The honor is this one's. Together, let the walking ones of Gridania and these ones find a way to live in peace. Oh, I don't have to dance for anyone anymore. Please wait. God damn it. Walking one dash. This one is yet to give walking one this token of one's appreciation. Oh, I'm getting something. <gasps> a crystal. When these ones summoned Lord Rama, these ones were gifted with a crystal. This one would, would now be bestowed upon you as a symbol of one's trust. Sweet. Back to the crystal grid. <laughs> this
this one was not mistaken about walking one. Gasp. Walking one is destined to walk a fate far crueler than this one can imagine. A brilliant light from within one's walking one enveloped the crystal. This one saw. I saw you glue, you glue. Mark this one well. That crystal will one day be of use to walking one. Yep. God damn it. Before walking one returns to Gridania, this one would ask walking one to watch touch ones. So long as touch ones are not troubled, touch ones will not make trouble. If walking ones witness touch ones making trouble, mayhaps walking one can testify to walking ones in Gridania that these ones mean no harm. Oh my god. These ones' homeland is fraught with danger. This one marks down safe places to look out for touched ones. Oh my god, this game and its emote system. Alrighty. I gotta go look out at places. Oh, well, one's right there. You probably already ran off, haven't you? Just one place. Oh, they just one place? I thought that was three for some reason. I don't know why. Ride my eagle, but I don't know where I got it. Already been your truck, bro? No, I just have it on random. Mostly because it's easier to find the random. So, slash lookout. Um, okay. Apparently, I, I did it wrong. Are you on the spot? I can't see the wrong spot anymore. I was on it. Standing right on it. Oh, that time it happened. I guess I was, like, slightly off. That's weird. I see you. There are tempered sylphs in the distance. You do not sense that they pose a danger if left alone. Let's go fuck with them. I'm joking. Alright, let's... Oh, now we gotta return back to... Yep, you're already on it. Cool. Like a Final Fantasy Uber. You're like a what? I'm like a Final Fantasy Uber. Uber. <laughs> they said a Reaper, and I was like... What? Holy fudge. Holy fudge? You, you, there's, a dude, there's a dude crafting himself a holy fudge. Oh, yeah. I'm All right. Oh, man, I need a computer chair. I do too, actually. I've been really looking at one. I've had this chair since we were in college. Note to those that are watching the episode. Aqua and I went to college together. If it isn't Dash, how went the meeting with the Sylphs? A missive from the Sylph Elder herself? They have no desire for conflict, nor do they intend to summon Rama. As long as we leave the tempered ones be, we need not fear any aggression. Sounds good. She'll be overjoyed to have... Welcome to Overjoy. Acknowledge they bring no will to us. Cool. You know this nation a great service, my friend. On behalf of all Gridanians, I give you my thanks. That's cool. Oh, he appears to have more to say. Well, let's see what he has to say, shall we? The Sylphic folk has long been friends to Gridania. The mere thought of being at war with them pained the Elder Seeds here to no end. But when to your efforts, she is, she will be able to rest easier. Being the benevolent soul that she is, my lady will surely try to find a way to reverse the tempering process. Once again, I thank you. Had the Scions uh, not offered to mediate between our people, suspicion and doubt may well have led into a needless conflict. Oh, Minfilia is talking to me now. Hello, Odash, can you hear me? Ida and Papalimo returned some while ago, and they wasted no time in regaling me with the tales of your exploits. Thanks in large part to you, the name of one primal may be struck from our list of enemies, and the Gridanians may turn their attention to more pressing matters. Well done. Yet the end of one tells the start of another. 
Pray return to the Waking Sands at your earliest convenience. We'll apprise you of a present situation in person. Alrighty. That, however, I think, is going to be the end of the Sylph Tale and the end of this episode. Oh my god, there is a tiny little... I summoned a, a black mage. I didn't even realize it. I pressed the wrong button, changed minions, and I got a black mage. It's so adorable. Okay. We're going to end the episode here. We'll start another episode in a bit, and we will go see what Minfilia wants. So, as always, Aqua, if you would like to say goodbye. Bye. God, you are quick on that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, as always, stay awesome, and tune in next time. Till then, take care. <laughs>